Oh. Okay, yeah, sorry. Don't, yeah, don't want to talk to me. Don't, sorry if you guys are sticking my voice. I'll, I'll get off if, like, Brandon and Al are trying to get on. It's, they're just not. So, I mean, they're in the tournament. Anyway, uh, so yeah, Gar seems pretty good at this matchup. He beat a Flash Tournament Zero. That was probably his biggest oh, win. Oh, Zero? Yeah, Zero. Really? Yeah, he beat Zero. Uh, I think he might have beaten Brandon before. I'm not sure. I don't know. Gar, I don't really know any of his notable wins. I just know he's yeah. super solid. Uh, he, he does have a lot of wins. Uh, he he also hates Falcon. He and Laudanus are like the... That's so weird. Yeah. yeah I, the Falcon I, haters. I would play them with, my, with Falco, who I made. And like I'd beat him sometimes, or they'd win most of the games. And then I'd go Falcon just for the hell of it, and I'm like, why is this easier? This feels so weird. <laughs> and I think that's a mindset thing. Like I, don't, it's not like they don't know the matchup. It's more like you're just you're letting me get away with it just because I'm Falcon. Because yeah. you guys don't like the character. So th that is another reason why I said I think he, he likes Fox a lot because well I know he doesn't like Falcon, which mm -hmm. you might expect a Sheik player to do as so traditionally. Weird. Yeah, it's like they do. Falcon like should it. be free in their mind. Okay, uh, good ledge guard, very standard, but uh, Gar is good at mixing up whether or not you should do roll from the ledge or stand up. A lot of times he tricks me and ends up getting the ledge when I think I'm going to cover it. Um, good cross but Holman, right Holman almost Ooh. knew that he, Gar was going to do it. Oh, the chain. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, I don't know about the chain, but it's worked out anyway. Oh, we'll take it. Yeah. All right, let's see how Gar sets up for this next approach here by Homemade Waffles. Goes for the ledge for that invincibility. Nice grab. Good read. Where's okay, it oh. doesn't react quickly enough. Yeah, I, the, think, I think he had it. He just, you know, second-guessed it. That, like, regular get-up is really hard to react to, though. You have to be really fast. Um, and you don't want to get spot on shine or something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, challenge yeah. invincibility. You can't yeah. really do that. Gar is good at his biggest strength is tech chasing, and we haven't seen him really get any grabs. Brandon's is making it really hard to beat grab. What? Oh yeah. Nice. So uh, you should all go to GarQR.com if you have Smash Four. It'll change your lives. Oh, that's right. What's that what? app? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 sorry. That's Gar PR. Gar PR is a uh, is a ranking system. It's called True Rank. There is another thing called Gar QR, which is related to Smash Four. If you guys play Smash Four, go to it now. Now. It's a uh, what is it? So you know how you can like play as anyone in Smash Four. You have like, amiibos or whatever. Like, yeah. So there's one that is Gar. I see. Yeah. So you go to GarQR.com and you'll be able to play as Gar in Smash Four. I mean, who wouldn't want to do it? We thought about doing a tournament where it's only Gars. Spencer, were you the one who like made GarQR a thing? Okay. I heard you promoting a lot. Okay, yeah, so Gar is, and the side note about him too, he's, he has this thing, GarPR, GarPR.com, he's, he's actually helping a lot of other regions try to introduce it to their own region. It's like an unbiased ranking system based only on results. Unfortunately, it, if somebody is not ranked in it, like, you know, if, if Armada came and, uh, like, I lost to him, my GarPR would go, like, down oh. because Armada's not on it. Okay. Oh, well, he might not get this one, so he's got to set up for that chase. Doesn't. But good grab nonetheless. He goes okay, high again. Nice. nice. See if he gets Oh, wow. what a decision. Yeah, but Brandon with great recovery. Still, oh, man, uh, he even waited for it. That was crazy. Yeah, so this game is looking like a higher level game already. They've both done really impressive things. This should be easy edge guard, but you couldn't get to it in time. Yeah, I think uh, the, the platform being at that height might have also yeah, messed, messed, messed with his up. head. Yeah. Not knowing what the best option was. Brandon tried to go for that flat stage there. No platform gimmicks to really worry about. Gar trying to catch him. Oh, good swat. Gar has a has a really good mentality about uh, playing better players. Where it seems like he doesn't get phased and like start playing worse. He actually ends up playing better. See, but look how Gar is kind of playing. It's not really. I, I know that's kind of how she plays. But what I was talking to. Maybe it was you or Brian over here, and we were talking about how if the person's better than you, you, you gotta just space better. You gotta try and space. Like maybe they're more technical or whatever. Yeah, that oh, was wow. you. Yeah, that's yeah, what he's yeah, doing. He's kind of running away, hoping that he can get bad approaches and bait the bad approaches. Oh, no DI on the up throw, and I believe he got a tiny bit of smash DI on the up air, but because the fox was like deep in the middle of him, it wasn't enough. <laughs> 
Oh wow, reverse down smash, nice. Oh, oh hitting that needles on the top. Nice angle. Yeah, wow. great angle. But gets the grab, chases him out. Good finish. Okay, but he can still live. Damn, he side beat onto the stage. That's, That's really hard to see because he's still in the bubble, so you have right. no idea how parallel he is with the edge. It is very hard to eye on uh, FOD how far the fox is and knowing like what angle they're taking and stuff. Uh, I think on Yoshi's, yeah, Yo and Yoshi's, you can also up the at least to the ledge. Sorry, side B at least to the ledge from the bubble. Yeah, I'm not sure if he can get on the stage or not. Oh, I don't know about all that. Oh, yeah, well, hey, you got away with it. Some interesting shenanigans going on there. See, tried to get some space there, space out with the back air. Fortunately, trades Brandon keeping him on the ledge here up. Bad mistake. Yeah, but. He doesn't look too phased. Gar, Gar is not like a particularly emotional player. He's not somebody who starts tilting when he messes up or when something goes wrong. It's a good strength too because sometimes people. It's easier to improve your gameplay than your emotions and like. Yeah, that aspect. Oh, damn! The wave dash in place gets punished by a wave shine up smash. When in doubt, shine. It. Nice. Solid. Okay. So nice try to Gar. 